control valve is a critical part of the control loop. Processing plants utilize a vast network of control loops to produce an end product for market. These control loops are designed to keep a process variable such as pressure, flow, level, or temperature within a required operating range to ensure a quality end product is produced. The control valve manipulates a flowing fluid to compensate for the load disturbance and keeps the regulated process variable as close as possible to the desired set point. Think of a control valve as a doorway. It connects an upstream, higher pressure source, P1, to a downstream, lower pressure destination, P2. And just like a door, it can open and close and have different positions in between. In order for this pressure reduction to occur, there has to be a flowing medium that travels through the control valve. This flow media can be compressible, such as air, steam, or natural gas. It can be liquid, like water, gasoline, or crude oil. It could also be biphase, consisting of both liquid and gas states. Within the control valve, there is a primary opening through which the process fluid will flow. These parts that change the flow area within the control valve are collectively referred to as trim. Just like the doorway, there are different positions you can put the control valve in from closed to wide open or anywhere in between. A control valve has a shutoff when the valve plug is on the seat. Then it throttles and goes to wide open. Basically, all we're doing is changing that flow area via movement of the trim. Visit fisher.com or contact your local Emerson sales office to learn more.